Alright guys, so before the video starts, I just want to let you know that Cyberpunk 2077 comes out tonight at 7pm, and I'll be streaming it at that time at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash rojr, the link will be in the description, come swing by if you can, if you can't, you know, don't worry, we will try and get possibly some highlights from the stream, or just a, a whole thing in itself uploaded to the channel, so some gameplay is going to be coming for that, but for now, uh, just enjoy this video. <coughs> Hola, como estas mi amigos? Lego, Lego, mi nombre Diego Fuego And today, this story gets a little wild Now, welcome back guys As the title may suggest, the story obviously takes place at my job Now, it was a typical Sunday And you know, I just pulled up for my shift And there's already some people in the store doing their shopping And it gets a little busy So I'm there to relieve my coworker. So I get my ass punched in, hop on the register And get some people the fuck out after a while, I noticed some kids came in, and there was three of them. They seemed old enough, but like in high school and shit. Two of them were like doing shopping, and then they had a third friend who was just there with him. And he was pretty tall, probably like 6'2 or so. And I think it might be important to note, but he was wearing a mask that only people who work at my store have, you know? So like, when you're working there, and like the fucking, you know what started the pandemic, they're like, hey, here, we got some store masks for you guys to wear. So. That's the only way to get that mask. We don't sell them to, to customers or anything. So I figured he worked at the other store that's like 10 minutes away from, from the one I'm at. Now again, I'm at the register and one of the kids is asking me for some hats. You know, he's trying to pick out a nice fitted. No cap. No joke. One of the other kids is looking at shoes. So they're all doing their thing. And the kid up front with me walks away after a while to help his boy pick out some shoes or something. And I notice there's a phone up front and I'm like, hey, yo, is this your phone? And he's like, hey, yeah, good looking out. So I'm up there now like, damn, I don't want someone to steal this thing's phone, so I'm trying to pay attention to it. But it was all Gucci in the end. But now these dudes are done, you know, like, y'all have been here long enough, so, you know, let's let's get the fuck on. Let's hit the dip dip potato chip. <coughs> now, here's the good part of the story. I'm literally about to scan in some boxers for my man. And as soon as I do that, I hear all of them go, yo, yo, and then the door opens and I look up. And all I see is just one tall, the, you know, the, the tall nigga banging up on some kid right against the glass of the store. And I'm just standing there like, yo, you know, like, what the fuck's going on? And now his boys run out because they're like, all right, dog, we ain't letting this go down bad. And my man straight, he still has the boxers in his hand and he runs out. So now I'm really like, yo, and at the point, at this point, there's two kids on the ground. You know, tall kid son, we'll call him. He's on top of random nigga son beating his ass. And then you got the random nigga San's girlfriend just standing there like, Ah, no, stop, stop it, stop it. Is that really going to help, fam? Is that really going to do something? Anyway, you know, you got the customers still in the store. They're seeing this shit, and they're just confused. So one lady's looking at me, and she's like, Did you guys lock the door? Like, of course I responded no, because I've been standing at the register the whole time. Like, obviously not. And I, I don't know why she's scared of some, some random kids fighting outside. Like, she's about to die to some BDs or some shit, dude. Like, anyway, you know, the manager working with me, she's calling the cops because she kind of has to. But the fight didn't last too long. You know, tall nigga son dips, random nigga son dips, and the other kids come back to finish paying for this shit. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah sorry about, like, running away like that. And I'm just like, yeah, it's cool, bro. Like, as long as you're buying this shit. Now, I work in, like, a pretty pretty like pretty white town you know there's no crime <laughs> cop shows up in about a minute and she walks in like she's the sheriff of old town road holding her belt buckle like hey something going on here i'm like my nigga you clearly missed it but i ain't say shit because there's no point in being like yeah these kids are part of it because that's that one that's fucked up two they're buying shit so the manager that called is just like yeah there was a fight but i think they ran off and basically the cop doesn't do anything so she leaves and the two kids are like yo thank you for not saying anything and then you know i even grabbed a shoe for him so he bought that and all his other shit like we're gucci while i was ringing them out their boy called and he was like yo where y'all at like y'all always doing this to me and i'm just like damn they did him dirty but i guess they went to meet up with him after so hopefully they're good you know keeping out of trouble and shit i'm just glad things didn't go down bad because at the end of the day everyone was safe Except the kid who got his ass beat in front of his girlfriend. Let's not talk about that. But nobody stole anything. That's all that matters, really. And the manager told something to my boss afterwards, like the next day or whatever, like about the kid wearing the mask. 
And he, he figured it was like the new kid who got hired at the other store, but I guess that kid got a haircut or some shit, and he was like, nah, it wasn't me. But I mean, I don't fucking care, dude. It doesn't really matter. If it wasn't him, it wasn't him. I don't really care. But anyway, yeah, that's it, basically. Uh, some reckless ass fight that happened at my job. Y'all know what to do. Leave a like, share this shit with your mom. And when we hit 50 subscribers, I'll drop the long-awaited Fila FX100 video. Peace.